Welcome. This is the uh, Algebra 2 end of course test, or end of course practice test, I should say, the first one. Uh, question number 40. The question says, this table displays the results of an experiment on exponential growth, and it gives you the data there. Based on these re results, what is the closest value of y when x equals negative 2? Now, in full disclosure, I totally messed up this problem at first because I was trying to figure out what kind of growth it was, it was because I forgot to read the directions. If I had known it was exponential growth, I would have saved myself a lot of time. I did this by hand before I came and did it in front of, uh, before I made a video because that would be confusing otherwise. So make sure you read the directions. You'll save yourself a lot of time. I was really annoyed and then I figured out, oh, well, the question just says it's exponential. So anyway, what I'm going to do with that information is I'm going to go and just do an exponential regression because a regression will tell me what the most likely line of fit would be for that type of growth and it's, since it's exponential I'm going to use exponential regression. The first thing I need to do is go in and type all the information into the list. So I'm going to go here, I'm going to click edit. I've got to delete out all my old stuff. As you can see we were just doing problem 38 a minute ago so that's all the data from 38 when we talked about Memphis and all that mess. Sorry, my calculator on my screen is a little buggy, so occasionally I get weird numbers. Now, I can click back over there to the right, or to the left, and I can type in all my x values, or my independent variable. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. That's all the data from the left side. On the other side, I have 6, 9.6, 15.4, 24.6, and 62.9. So that matches up to the exact data. Make sure you didn't mess anything up, otherwise it could mess up your answer and be very confusing. From here I'm going to just quit out of that menu so I don't start doing stuff inside the list. Now I'm going to use the data that I just put in. So I'm going to hit Oops, I didn't mean to hit second before I hit stat. Go into your stat menu again. Don't hit second. Go over to where it says calc, if you're using TI-84 anyway. Click down. This is an exponential regression. That's why I underline exponential. So look for the one that says EXP reg. That's what that means, exponential regression. And just hit enter. Make sure that makes sure you pick the right thing. Hit enter again, and it'll give you the regression. Now, it tells you the formula for exponential regression is y equals a times b, which they provide, raised to the x power. So I know this is y equals 6 more or less. Even you can round a little bit and get 6 there for a. My b value would be 1.6. And I'm going to raise that to my x, which in this case is negative 2. So all I'm going to do is type this information in and see if I can get the correct answer. So I'm going to do 6. It would help if I turned the screen on to right actually press the buttons. And just because it says y equals doesn't mean you have to graph, obviously. You're just typing in to see if the uh, punched in solution will work, should substitution works. So 6 times 1.6 raised to the negative 2 power. And that answer gives me 2.34 which is H. So anytime you have this type of information, it's really easy to just go in, make a list, a couple lists for yourself, do an exponential regression or whatever type of regression it suggests that you use. Sometimes you have to figure it out based on the data, but here you didn't as long as you, you know, read the directions, which I forgot to do. And then punch the information back in that they give you, find the data point that they're looking for, so you can easily get the answer of 2.34. So, good luck.